going on everybody it's stay out productions okay and today we're here talking with the talented Puzuda how are you what's up what's up I'm good too plain yeah. game Puzuda yeah that's me what is plain game it's just it's like a it's it's really music you know it's just like a, some shit we pushing with music you know what I'm saying like we just some fly shit we like to do fly you know what I'm saying some shit like that and mm -hmm. To elevate, you gotta go up. Planes go up. You know what I'm saying? So that's just how it is. And the name Pooza, like you know, I don't really just hear names like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, Where did it come from? Uh, really, just growing up and shit. Like my uncle and them, my island, they be like Pooza, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like Pooza, shit like that. And I just ran with it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I just ran with it. What is your name though? My name. Well, my, my government. Mm -hmm. uh, y'all got to do y'all research for that. Okay. <laughs> so, speaking of like, okay, your social media name is Who is Poodoo? And uh, speaking of your recent mixtape that's already out, Who is this nigga? You know, like, <laughs> what inspired that name? Is that like people reaction to when they first hear you? Yeah, yeah. I, I just like, like I, I did three years in jail and I had a lot of time to write fake my craft and think about a lot of ideas and shit. Mm -hmm. And I just came up with like, like, cause when motherfuckers be hearing me, they be like, damn, who is that nigga? Man, who is this nigga you listening to? You know what I'm saying? So I just kind of ran with that. That I came up with that first. Mm -hmm. And then I thought of the Instagram and I'm like, damn, I'm gonna call my shit. My shit gonna be who is Poozula. You know what I'm saying? I just ran with it like that. Okay. Now you said you did three years, like, what well, they enjoyed you for that amount of time? Evading the risk, evading the risk in the motor vehicle. I took the live on high speed chase from Paraland to downhill. Oh, so, you made it uh, to Slansky? Yeah, I made it out of here. Dang, I ain't even go to jail that day. You didn't? Nah, I ain't go to jail that day. I knew I was going to have to go to jail, but I just ran that day. I was so successful. Yeah, I got away yeah. everything. Right. But they just, they knew who I was. Wild my cameras, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mug shot, my mug shot going to pop up. So they knew who I was. That was the shortest time you could have got. In that case, you had a good lawyer. I could have. Nah, see, I, I had a court appointment. I had a court appointment. I was, I was young. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really doing shit. Ain't had no kind of income coming in, so I ain't, I couldn't even pay for a lawyer. You know what I'm saying? If I would have paid for a lawyer for shit show, I could have got something less than that. You know what I'm saying? So you like, you seen yourself being in this position? Yeah. 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 So how long have you been wanting to just do music? Like when did you actually take it seriously? Mm -hmm. I've been doing music for a long time. Man. Like I've been doing music for about since I was about thirteen. Like I was I was one of the first, really the first like young nigga to have everybody on do music around here. You know what I'm saying? I started that shit. Like I had me like a little studio in the closet and shit. You know what I'm saying? I used to come get out of my homeboys, my little homeboy uh, Ratchet Man. My homeboy squirt, new meat, uh, I like to get them niggas and tell them niggas, let's go to the high, let's get in the studio. So I was, I was the one who really kind of started that way, like in, in my age range. Right? It was some older niggas already doing it before me, though. Are the friends that you just named, are they consistent with it? Like, are they still rapping to this day? Yeah, my little partner Ratchet, man, he locked up. The one we did that Panda freestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, him, you know, he, he, he be calling. Yeah. He probably, he probably for the car in a minute. minute. Yeah, he still be spitting shit over the phone. Tell me you can't wait till he took down this and that. So, about the cover art for from the Who Is This Nigga mixtape. It was kind of like a, I got like an OVO type of vibe from it. Do you, do you like Drake? Uh, yeah, I, I fuck with Drake. I fuck with Drake. But see, it, it, it really wasn't just, I had a little essay to draw it up for me in yeah. jail. But it really wasn't for Drake. Like, yeah. it's just the owl. Cause mm -hmm. the, the uh, owls symbolizes wisdom, you know what I'm saying? Like owls, they, they wise, they very wise, they smart than the motherfucker. So that's why I kind of ran with it. He just put the letters inside the owl and it came out looking like the Drake shit. And I was like, shit, I'm fuck, I'm wrong with it. It's cool. Okay. So. Talk to me, talk to me. You can ask me anything, I'm okay. Do you like G. making songs for the ladies? Like for example, you got your Women Crush Everyday song and your your new song, Your Way, featuring 
Detroit Seven. Yeah, yeah. I kind of liked it. I kind of like making music for the women. I don't know. It just it's it, it used to be hard for me like to make them type of songs. Mm -hmm. Like I just worked on my craft and shit, got better with it. I really like making music for women. Like, Is that the first female artist that you work with? Who? Her. Oh, that's, that's a dude. That's, 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 that's my little partner. Yeah, that's, that's my little partner. I thought you said seven like the girls can say, ooh. Okay, well, do you plan on making music with women? Yeah. Like female artists out of Houston? Yeah, yeah. I can, I can you got to try on anybody or your ear out listening to any females? I be listening. I be listening. I ain't gonna lie. One person, I ain't gonna lie. This And this is my opinion. Like, mm -hmm. Jeezy, you feel me on Instagram? Mm -hmm. She the hardest coming out right now. I ain't nobody fucking with her. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But we plan. I plan on doing some shit with her. Okay. It just ain't. It just the time and ain't been. It's all about time. We gonna have to happen. You reached out though. Or have she yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's my dog. That's my dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was about to school outside. Shout out to Drizzy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So some of your hot songs, like I'm gonna start from the older to new. You know what I'm saying? And give me some money, some. After you got out of jail, was that really like one of the first songs that got people to notice you more? And it's like Pozuda, uh -oh. the rapper? Nah, nah, I, I wouldn't even say that because the people that know me, mm -hmm. that really know me, they knew what I was coming home to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, but as far as the new people, yeah, probably you can say that, you can say that. Okay. What about your song, Ride? I know you collab with Young Al, Rich Ruler, and Demo Trill. How did that collaboration come about, considering that y'all like from two different sides of town? Really? And Free Rich Ruler, by the way. You know what I'm saying? But really, that's, that's bro idea. Like, I met bro in the studio. I was recording the song. But I wasn't really feeling it. But he was feeling it, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was like, man, you hard, you hard. Ooh, ooh. So we ended up exchanging Instagram and shit. And he just hit me up. He was like, hey, I want you to come to the studio. And shit, when I came, Al popped up, Demo popped up, you know what I'm saying? And shit, that's really how I just, it wasn't even planned, really. We just yeah. did that motherfucker. And I really ain't like it at first. Like, cause my partner, my partner Blake, he letting everybody hear for a drop. But I ain't feel like I smashed that motherfucker. So I really ain't like it. I ain't gonna lie. I used to be like, bitch, damn, stop letting people hear that motherfucker. Bitch, I ain't really just go off on that. I'm like, talking about, but it's crazy. I had the most quotable lines yeah. in the song, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you're comfortable working with like people outside of your comfort zone. You know yeah. people from all over Houston. Yeah, if, if a nigga got some, and uh, to me, mm -hmm. I ain't scared to work with them. Like, shit, I ain't got nothing going on. We can work. Who do you plan on working with that you haven't like worked with yet? Not from this side though, like just thinking outside. I don't know. This, I ain't gonna lie, Houston gay. I ain't doing no more reaching out. I ain't, I ain't doing any of this shit, cause I be, I be supporting motherfuckers, posting motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? I don't get that same love, you know what I'm saying? I, so I ain't really doing no reaching out, bro, like, cause this shit, this shit gay, I'd rather really just do me. I feel like I make better songs by myself anyway. I feel like ain't nobody fucking with me anyway, so fuck this shit. I ain't really, I don't want no features no more. But like, okay. You we, like we hear that a lot when it comes down to like support and Houston is not being there. You know, you might support somebody you don't get this same love back. Cool, but do you feel like there's some barriers that need to be broke for that to be good? Yeah, yeah. I mean, motherfuckers be it just so much shit going on out here, and then motherfuckers be big headed and you ain't even nobody yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, how is you that big headed? You ain't did shit yet. You know what I'm saying? Like. That just how it be, like so. I just be on some shit, like man. Motherfucker wanna work, he feeling me, he reach out. I like him, his music. You know what I'm saying? We gonna do something. Other than that, I don't wanna reach out no more. And it comes close to deep in your own hood, like you can't even work with certain people in your own spot. So how do you feel about that, like not being able to work with certain people? From where you from? I mean, you really ain't no thing to me, like. Is there something that you like? I'm just saying, like, do you like? Is there something you wish you could do, like be able to? Like, together. like who? Like who? I mean, we got Soul Gang right down the street from Holmes. You got Spongebob right here from Denny. I mean, I did. I mean, bro, it's so crazy. Me and Spongebob like, got a lot of songs. Yeah, just nobody's never heard. You know what I'm saying? We got a bunch of shit like that. Them was my little bros at one point in time. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
See, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really know them though. I ain't, I ain't heard them from. But I ain't tripping like if they, they, if somebody got like I say somebody got something they reach out shit we gonna work. I don't, I ain't holding my nuts on nobody. I just ain't doing no reaching out though. So why y'all have songs that haven't been dropped? That's something y'all plan on dropping. Nah, them songs ain't, them songs ain't ever come out. They don't come out? Nah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to the beginning. How often do you freestyle on your songs? Um, majority of the time. I just wouldn't say nothing. Like, lately I've been really, like, my new tape, I've really been writing. But, like, I wouldn't just say all the way freestyle. Like, I'm gonna punch in, like. I'm going to punch you. I do that majority of the time though. Like especially like if, with features. If somebody want me on that song, I ain't going to even write to it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wait till I get there, feel that motherfucker go on that bitch and do what I do. Okay. Yeah. You really had that good though. You see like on one of your videos, one of your videos on your Instagram, you were just in your kitchen rapping, you know what I'm saying, being on the counter. Yeah. And you, you, you it included like, you know, some Spanish into your rap. Where'd you learn how to speak Spanish? Man, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it's crazy, cause it go back to when I was locked up. I had this little essay, silly, he from Northside of Houston. Mm -hmm. And he was like, man, he was like, man, you hard. He was like, you need to make a Spanish song. Mm -hmm. So he was just teaching me the words. Mm -hmm. And I just put it in the music, you know what I'm saying? Like, I never, I got that song, I'm still holding that motherfucker. I ain't even never dropped that bitch yet, I'ma drop it though. Well, I just got it from my city, really. He was teaching me that shit. That's crazy, because you know, a lot of people have a hard time where actually putting Spanish and, like, you know, translating yeah. back to English at yeah. the same time in the song. Like bilingual. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's going to get you paid after the Yeah. A lot of people doing that. Mm -hmm. So, why do you compare yourself to such a legend like Tupac? <laughs> If you don't want me to use the word compare, I'm not, I don't necessarily know why yeah. you reference yourself. I wouldn't, I wouldn't just say I compare myself to him, mm -hmm. but like that's, that's my favorite rapper of all time. Yeah. Like, like bro, with his music, like, bro got shit like you gonna feel it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I just can relate so much to his music, you know what I'm saying? And like, that's just who I look up to in the music. So did he somewhat inspire you to start yeah. rapping? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say that. Really, my, my old man, my old man rapping shit too. Mm -hmm. My old man really one who put me on Tupac though. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's where it really come from. It's really in my genes. My grandpa sing, my old man rap, I rap, my little brother rap, my other little brother make beats. So it's just really just in our genes and shit. Are they like, uh, you know, rocking with the movement with the playing game? Yeah, they rockin', they rockin', I mean, they rockin' in the way that they rock, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they rockin' okay. though. So, speaking of your, no, you, your movement, playing games, what do the acronyms on your merchandise stand for, the A G W L? Aviation Gang. Aviation Gang? Yeah. Mm. That's just aviation really Gang, what is aviation? You don't know what aviation mean? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Uh, you kidding me? <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> we can cut that. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think the Gangsta Nation Day is? Well, uh, yeah, okay. Hmm, we see that you also do a lot of challenges. What made you want to do the Bodak Yellow Challenge, considering this like a more female-dominant song? It's really the beat hard. Mm -hmm. And see, my bro told me, he, he always, he be want me to do every time. You know what I'm saying? He just be wanting to show like, show this nigga really got some. Mm -hmm. But the beat was hard though. The beat was hard. I'm like, shit, I can run that motherfucker. I just did it. Well, I was gonna say, you know, do you feel like it's better for upcoming rappers to participate in the challenge than it is on social media? I mean, I don't. You, I wouldn't just say that because you got you got different type of uh, you got different type of rappers. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like. Every rapper can't do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got motherfuckers that probably only make good songs. Like, they can't just spit like that, you know what I'm saying? So, did you play any sports in high school? Like, how were you? Man, I played, well, I ain't lie, I was sorry, this bitch. <laughs> I ain't gonna even lie, I was sorry, this motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I don't think I ever been good at, we just making music. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah. In basketball, I can kind of, I, I was kind of like, I was cool in basketball though. Yeah. I can shoot, you know what I'm saying, drill a little bit. But I wasn't, I wasn't good enough to go nowhere though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was trash a little bit. Were you like a problem child or did you get your work done or like, was it like half and half? <laughs> mm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I, I was exposed to the streets early though. Like, so, I mean, I, I know I gave my mom some heartache, though. Shit show, I gave her some, some heartache. So I wouldn't, I ain't gonna just say I was a good ass child. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, nigga been out here, like, all my life, I've been in the streets. What's the worst punishment that you can remember as a child? Like, you know, get it. Man, I remember mean, one time, I, don't, I ain't gonna lie, I don't remember what the fuck I did. But my dad ass, that nigga ass, that nigga had whooped my ass. I tried to hide up under the bed, bro, can't got my ass. I'm talking about, bro, whooped me with a switch. Had me bleeding like a motherfucker. That's probably, that's probably the worst one right there, bro, beating me with the switch. I got bleeding and shit. I don't remember what the fuck I did, though. I did some crazy shit. I used to be doing, like, I was like an adventurous child. I be just trying shit, like, you know what I'm saying? like. Especially at like a, a young age, I just be doing dumb ass shit. Yeah. <laughs> now, we might have mentioned um, earlier of uh, not being able to work with people in your own hood. Now, we see, you know, you got people in school, like you got people in playing game, and y'all literally cross the street, down the street from each other. Are there any people that may have switched up and you know, had to choose a side? I mean, to be honest, we ain't even across the street, down the street from each other. We out here. You know what I'm saying? They not out here. We out here every day, all day, all night. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it ain't, and shit, you know, we are like, like, it's, it's, it's reasons, you know what I'm saying? The shit the way, it's, the way it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit supposed to be way different, but you know, niggas do foul shit, you know what I'm saying? And niggas can't own up to they shit, you know what I'm saying? Like. So that's the reason why shit the way it is, you know what I'm saying? Like And that just changed as of recent. Cause I remember it was a um apartment complex Christmas right down the way everybody used to be at. So you feel like, you know, since they got shit down, shit kinda went low. Like people nah. weren't able to keep in contact with I can't even say that. You know, I I wouldn't even say that. It's just shit, it's just you gotta when you in the streets, bro, you gotta follow the rules. You gotta play by the rules. That's just all it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, loyalty is everything, you know what I'm saying? That's just all it is. I wouldn't even say that, cause I was, I was locked up. When Chris Munt was fired up the way it was, I was not here. I was in jail, I was doing my time, you know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't even just say that, it's just niggas do whole shit, feel me? You gotta play by the rules, bro. That's just all it is. You don't, if, 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 if you my, if I call you my brother, I ain't supposed to do no foul shit towards you. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Yeah. So you kind of put that in your music, like, you speaking from experience. So I kind of got like a little tongue twisted, but that's what you're calling. Yeah, yeah. That's just, you know, I mean, everybody you see right here, you know what I'm saying, or be with us, we locked in. Like, that's what it is. It's us. I ain't no more of that other shit. That shit that did. You know what I'm saying? Then it's a lot of jealousy, hating shit, you know what I'm saying? Cause niggas really be, niggas knew I was gonna come home and do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was doing this shit way before anybody. You know what I'm saying? And niggas hate that I come home and, you know what I'm saying? Maneuver and people fucking with me. Niggas don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's real. That's real. So. Being that you didn't watch your own people switch up, you know, just right before your eyes. How does the how you how do you put that in your music? Like how what type of energy do you take from it? Do you take that as like you take it in a negative way and kind of respond negatively, or do you take it and just you know take one to the chin and keep it moving? Man, it just I don't. I mean, I, I naturally put everything I go through in my music anyways. So. I mean, I don't know, it's just however, however it come out, that's just how, how it is, you know what I'm saying? That's just, whatever I go through, you know what I'm saying, however I'm living, I'm gonna put it in my music. Now, what's the most So speaking of your futures that you have done, how did the Lorraine future come about with the song Savage? Shit, really? 
Man, my, my little partner really wanted me to do something with him. You know what I'm saying? And shit. But bro, bro ended up, I guess bro ended up hearing some of my shit. And he commented on my shit. You know what I'm saying? And he wanted, he wanted to, uh, he was like, man, this shit, this shit be a jam. You know what I'm saying? And I had already been hearing about him. I'm like, I ain't gonna lie, that little nigga hard. You know what I'm saying? So shit, we really just made that shit happen. Like, that shit just happened, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, I, niggas just on shit like shit. That little nigga hard, he think I'm hard, you know what I'm saying? We gonna do something. So, what about the out the mud song? Like, what did you think about that? Yeah, what about it? You know, how did they come about? <laughs> Are those people that it's you close with? Right. Like, what's your relationship with them? Shit, you know, d rack that's, that's my family, that's my little cousin. That's okay. family, you know what I'm saying? T, that's my little nigga, that's, that's my dog, we locked in. We just really did something not too long ago. We just did another, another motherfucker. Mm -hmm. So that's how that shit came. So is there like a goal or like a point that you want to reach with your music? As far as like yeah. lifestyle-wise or, you know, any just accomplishments that you really just want to do? Yeah, I mean, at first, at first it was like it was just like a, it was like a passion, like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. I just love to do music, you know what I'm saying. But now, nigga getting old and shit, I need that Chibata, you know what I'm saying. Nigga got to come with that check, bro. Sure. Like that, that's you know what I'm, I'm trying to better my situation and the people around me situation. You know what I'm saying. I feel like a nigga could really do it with this shit, so that's really what it's about. And have you ever had a job, like, you know what I'm saying, like? Yeah, I had a job for me. Yeah. Where, where, where's, like, the last place that you worked? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I used to work at, uh, at Macy's. <laughs> Macy's Warehouse. For real? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I used to work at Macy's, but I got fired, though. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I started hitting that. <laughs> you stealing people's shit. Huh? <laughs> you taking that shit. I was talking about that. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, I used to that shit crazy. We're gonna take, you know, we're finna do a quick little segment called Clip the Duck, okay? Mm, let's see, I'm trying to see how far I wanna go with you. We can go far. Alright. <laughs> you ain't down. no booze you do, right? You ain't got, you got a type? You like them light skin, dark skin? I ain't really got no type. You ain't got no type? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, we're gonna start with some, with some Houston locals. If y'all don't know them, I'm gonna set them up for you. Alright. Tootie B. Who? Tootie. From Dreams. You got strip clubs? Nah, I don't. You don't? Nah, nah, I don't. Why not? You're not really a club person. I mean, I go out, but not just nothing. I like that, though. <laughs> I don't know who that is, though. Who was that? I'm going to pull it up with my phone. It's tripping. We're going to go to the next one. We'll come back to it. Right. Cardi B. Cardi B? Yeah. The rapper? Yeah. What other? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm a club. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> my bad. I'll see it. <laughs> my fault, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm a club. Ass. Yeah, you got it. Okay, so um, Cardi B. Too, Kiki? Kiki Palmer. Wow, yeah, yeah, she look a little nice. I click her. <laughs> yeah, I click her. Okay. Gabrielle Union. Gabrielle Union. Yeah. 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 Come on, baby. Man. We gotta look. We gotta take it. We gotta take it past the look. Yeah, thank you. Educate this man. Say, man. You got to say, no. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I can't, I can't clear. I can't hear it. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, please, I can't, I can't, I can't fool Piggy. I ain't gonna lie. She got some bodies. She got, yeah, she do. She got some bodies. What about uh, Bundle of Bundle of Joy Britney? Y'all know Bundle of Britney? I don't know. Oh, y'all know. Let me show yeah. you that. That bitch fine, nah, fuck <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm about to clip it over here. What about Bad Baby to catch me outside, girl? She's 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 Oh, oh, like, you know, I mean, I had to, I mean, I, I had to turn her down a little bit. Look, though. this bundle of Britney, though. Oh, hell yeah. You said, man, this girl. Yeah, yeah, I'm Y'all got to be y'all research. Uh, but that's cool, though. Click, 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 click. She's so, I'm going to click her. Okay, Kiki Palmer. Yeah. 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 K
I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Hey. Cool, baby. Oh, you cool on I'm cool on What about Ari? Babe, do you have a baby mom? I ain't never seen them. Cop, ooh. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm clever then. Nah, I'll be out, but I don't be paying attention to these niggas. Yeah, we're talking. Don't think so. You probably be all up and down the explode page. I'm here, girl. She fine. She fine. She fine. I'm a clerk. I'll probably put a baby in her. Oh, another one. Another one. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Okay, well, that concludes this segment. Um, we're gonna put this one on. The next thing we're gonna do is like a freestyle, but that's gonna be at the end, okay? Ooh, freestyle? Yeah. <laughs> do you want it to be, you want the beat or no beat? It don't matter. Mm -hmm. It don't matter. It don't matter. You nervous? Don't, don't be scared. I'm scared. <laughs> what I do? Shit, yeah. man. You do videos all day. Hello. Yeah, I gotta come with it. Come with it. Come with it. Come with it. So do you have any incoming mixtapes? I'm gonna assume the one that is coming is called Dreams Turn Reality. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and how many, like, you know, songs oh, do you what, say what? will be on there? I probably don't do like 11. 11? Yeah. Any, you know, features from his tortoise? Mm, yeah, I got some features on. Yeah, can you give go, us yeah, some sneak peeks? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> yeah, I can have to catch that when I drop it. Okay. Yeah, make sure you drop it with us first so we'll be able to, you know. I gotcha. Push that on. Stay down. It's gonna make sense like it. Right, well, do you have any last words or shout outs? Shit. You, you know. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm shout out to my team, man. I ain't gonna lie, cause shit. I feel like without them, I ain't gonna lie, I probably wouldn't have nothing. Like, them niggas keep me level headed. Like, you know what I'm saying? They don't let me engage in no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, them niggas are all the way rocking, pushing the nigga, everything. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that really is, though. Okay. <laughs> I say, I say, uh, I say, never sold the brick, never touched the brick, but I was in the bricks with them hooligans, searching for a come up, strapped with a burner, couple down rocks on me and a couple hundred dollar bills in my pocket. I was in the field while niggas was in the house watching Bill Cosby. Getting they laugh on, I was getting my mash on, two daughters to feed. I was trying to bring that cash home by any means, so I'm serving fiends. Had the block on lock, but I was still trying to get a key. And sell a whole thing rock for rock, like fuck a wholesale nigga, I'ma bleed the block. Trying to see a hundred bands off a brick, so till it ache, I'm in the kitchen trying to work my wrist. Whipping miracles, call it miracle whip. Rock it up, lock it up, zip by zip. Then hit the strip and just hustle hard, cause a nigga trying to ball like Paul George. So I play the post like a power forward. Try to contest me though, I'm shooting like a shooting guard. Bow! Swish in his face, straight headshots like MMA on the boulevard, trying to get it every day. Cause I don't get tired like Kevin Gates on the corner with that cracking marijuana. Serving to the fiends and the everyday stoners. Can see my hunger cause I grind with ambition. I was in the jungle, they was watching Walt Disney. <laughs> I work my wrist swiftly, then make that dope come back like it missed me. Yeah, them grams jumping out the kitchen. Trap got varieties, that bitch like a convenience store. Wanna learn how to hustle, then take notes. Pure white, no color, just straight coke. Jay's knocking them out door clerk and they trying to smoke. Niggas want wholesale like sports, they trying to scope. <laughs> man, I don't know, I ain't little people like that, man. I ain't little people like that, man. <laughs> nah, for real. Man, I see where we at, man. We on Selensky, man, for real. On Selensky, in the springs, man. Every day. I see fuck going on in the spot with my nigga Puzzuti. I we see fuck going man. on. We oh, playing games, shit. Know what fuck going Being self, man, I see fuck going on. Tell yourself, man. original squad of real shit. Real life, man. I'm talking about real game. No cap, man. know what's fuck going on. We keep the team. No cap, man. We keep the team. Facts, we in the hood, man. Facts, man. It's all going on. Yeah. Say we in the hood. Thanks, man. Stay out production. Okay. <laughs>